Uh, this is all of the U.S. presidents in my lifetime, from 1985 to now, dramatically reading, one potato, two potato. <laughs> one potato, two potato, three potato, four. <laughs> Five potato. <laughs> Six potato. <laughs> Seven potato more. <laughs> uh, eight potato. Uh, nine potato. Ten potato. Uh, okay, we got all the potatoes. We got the best potatoes. We're gonna grow them locally. We got no collusion with these potatoes. They're gonna be huge. They're gonna be tremendous. we are but that's why like I don't know if you guys use this app called Waze yeah I'm more of a Google Maps person I like I like to use Google Maps but my friends are like sorry you got to use Waze and I did a little research though I found out one of the top downloaded voices for this app is none other than Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> why would you want that as your GPS voice that's just him yelling at you for the next four to six hours get out of the lane get out come on listen to me the cops are coming get into the chopper <laughs> something calm and soothing like Barack. Barack has a calm voice. Very soothing, unless you're in a hurry. You're saying, if you got five minutes to get to work, you got a fork in the road, the last thing you want to hear is, uh, uh, now look, uh let me be clear. Uh, you could go left. Or you could go right. Uh, but uh, what you don't want to do, what don't I want to do, Barack? Uh, you don't want to sit here which is what you're doing right now. Okay, well, which way should I go, Barack? Well, up, 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 you could make a U-turn, but uh, so I can tell Sasha Malia, Barack, I don't have time for a Sasha Malia story. I'm trying to get to work. That's when I realized I should probably use Donald Trump as my GPS voice. I see some of you know him, that's nice. No, but I realized he might exaggerate the directions just a little bit. Just a little bit, like you're taking a slight right, next thing you hear your GPS, I'm like, okay, you're gonna take a huge turn. It's gonna be so huge. It's gonna be so huge. It'll make the house, but it's gonna be really bad, I can tell you. God, I can tell you. Yeah. I would have loved it if he had made Eddie Murphy the Secretary of State, though. <laughs> He'd be like, okay, Eddie, we're gonna make your Secretary of State. How do you feel about that? Eddie would have been like, let me tell you something, let me tell you something. This is gonna be great. It's gonna be fabulous. You're gonna be present. I'm the Secretary of State, and in the morning, I'm making waffles. I'll do some impressions. How about some voice impressions? Here he is. Here he is, our, our fearless leader, Trump. It is absolutely terrific to be here tonight. Terrific, terrific, tremendous, tremendous. As you know, it's great to be here. I love it. I love it. Absolutely. I met some terrific people. Terrific Welshman. Terrific. I love everybody. The blacks, the whites, the Hispanics. Terrific people. <laughs> terrific. Love the Hispanics. Had a chimichanga backstage. Yes. Terrific people. Just ran to Hillary in the men's room. Barack Obama, he's at home going, uh, my mama, America, we are in a heap of trouble. I mean, the man's a bully. The man is a bully. Bully, 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 bully. I know it, my wife Beyonce knows it. I went to the grocery store and they have the rubber divider stick at the grocery store which I like because to this day, I've never seen anyone breach the boundary of the rubber divider stick. <laughs> Millions of people come into the country illegally, but the rubber divider stick is the law. <laughs> Trump wants to build a wall, but 
I don't think that's how you should do it. I think you should just put down one rubber divider stick at the border. <laughs> and when people come, they're like, oh, we've got to go back. <laughs> It'll be a magnificent rubber divider stick. It'll be great. It'll be fantastic. It'll be so good. Everyone will say so. <laughs> we'll put down one rubber divider stick and make Mexico pay for it. And they will because it's so cheap. <laughs> Solving problems here, people. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. It is such a joy to be here. Although I must say, it was difficult leaving Melania. Okay, I want you to know that any time they tell you you've got to be locked for the next two weeks in a room with Melania Trump, it's a good thing. <laughs> you know, I, I, I have problems with the way they use words in the English language. Negative, positive, which is which? <laughs> I mean, I have some negative news for you. You're positive. Oh, that's good. No, it's negative. <laughs> When they told me, I, 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 I don't know, I, you know, it's just so confusing. And I am never confused. Trust me on this, folks. The greatest man in the entire world. Not the greatest. Okay, we've got to give it up for the big guy, Jesus. What do you say, huh? In here, yes, absolutely. I'm only the second greatest. <laughs> Okay, it's, I, it's true, it's true. In, 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 the ba in the back of the book, in the back of the book, it says, in the last days, the Trump will sound. <laughs> and I've been sounding for a few years, folks, and it's been sounding great to me. And if you ask me, I think we need to make that sound for four more years. What do you guys think? Four more years. Is there anybody in here that loves America? Let me hear you tell me about it. America, what a place. Who would have ever thought that a simple businessman, a simple-minded businessman, I might add to. I am simple-minded because the simple ways are the best. My way or the highway. It's very simple, folks. But when you work it, and you work it hard, and you work it a long time, trust me, I got my 10,000 hours in many years ago. It works, it just works, and I just kept working it all the way to the top. And now we're gonna keep it going. And that's what I think. You know, people get tweaked when I say, I'd like to be president for another 14 or 15 years. <laughs> but I think that'd be great. And then at the end, we can give it to Ivanka. What do you think, Ivanka? <laughs> yeah, that'll be fantastic. Faith, freedom, and family, folks. Faith, freedom, and family. Those are my three themes. And ironically, they're all three words that start with the letter F. And I love that. I love limericks, you know, I love rhymes and I love poetry and I love symbionts and things like that. The one thing I hate is when I'm standing in our stage in front of 10,000 people and I feel a fart forming. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. That's when I have to go off script and make up a bunch of words that give me an excuse to say, huge! <laughs> because it's the best word I've found for slipping one out. <laughs> and sometimes it's just a little, huge. <laughs> and sometimes it's a belly, huge! <laughs> Now, Donald Trump, I can work with that. I think they should just have put those guys on Dancing with the Stars. Had they done the election, have Hillary on there and Donald and all of them, wouldn't that have been great? And whoever was standing at the end, that's who wins. And you even get older ones on there too, like George W. Bush, wouldn't you tune in for that train wreck on Dancing with the Stars? Look here, uh, tonight Laura and I are going to be doing the hokey pokey. <laughs> Put your right foot in. Oh, no, okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> Get it in, I just don't have an exit strategy. <laughs> Now, 
Gotta get Smooth B. Obama on there. Barack, right? Ah, uh, okay. Ah. Uh, oh, no, I got it. Okay. Uh, uh, I like big butts. I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. When a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face, well, to put it bluntly, who gets from? I'm all about that base. No treble. Isis, Eusis, we all piss on Isis. Who's with me? Come on. All right. Okay, here's what we're gonna do, okay? Okay, just bear with me. We're gonna build a wall around the dance floor, okay? We're gonna build a wall around the dance to keep the salsa dancers out, right? Okay? And don't get me wrong, I love a good salsa, I do. The pico de gallo, the queso with the cheese, the guacamole, I love it, I do. And it loves me. But the dance is stupid, all right? You look ridiculous with the hips. Stop it, okay? Don't be doing that. If you're gonna do it, just keep dancing south, okay? Okay. Bye-bye, como tal vous? Okay, there you go. And we are gonna build a wall, we're gonna build a wall. And people are like, Donald, people be able to crawl underneath the wall. No, we're gonna build it through the Earth's crust. <laughs> all the way to China. We're gonna build it all the way to China and it's gonna butt up against the Great Wall of China. <laughs> Which I've seen, it's not that great, okay? It's not. Okay. It should have been named the OK Wall of China. That's what it should have been. <laughs> to write anything for four more years. <laughs> I just gotta tune in to Fox, CNN, Twitter, right? Can't believe, I just walk around the house now and that's what I do. I just, I'm driving my roommate crazy. I'm like, okay, we're gonna clean the kitchen today, okay? It's gonna be huge, it's gonna be fantastic, it's gonna be better than before. It's gonna start with the microwave. And I don't know if you know, I invented the microwave. I did, okay? I invented it. And he used, to, he used to be able to say whatever he wanted. You know, it was Teflon. Even like, this has been going on for 17 months, right? And he was up there with all those people and whatever. It's, okay, you're being a little baby. You're being a little tiny baby. You're being a baby. And you're being a liar, okay? You're being a little liar, 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 pants are on fire. Now they are. And his pants might be on fire, okay? He could be a gay. He could be a gay. He could be a gay, lying little baby, okay? And don't get me wrong, some of my best friends are gay, lying little babies. They are. And I love them and they love me. Black, Mexican, white, Chinese, whatever. Okay, vote for me. Vote for me. It's gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be you. And Hillary had it in the bag, but she just started yelling at people like Oprah, right? Towards the end. If you vote for me, there's free pantsuits under every one of your chairs tonight. What are you yelling at me for? Thank you. Thanks. Cheers. So I go out in these 12, 12 Air Force bases. One of the bases was so far into Texas that the nearest airport was in Mexico. They said we could fly to Mexico or drive six hours across Texas to go to this base. I said, I'm not flying into Mexico. I know who won the election. You're not getting rid of me like that. <laughs> So we drove from San Antonio to a base all the way out by the border, and an hour away from the base, we get stopped by an immigration checkpoint. Me and two other comedians, I'm driving the rental car, and I pull over at an immigration checkpoint, and I quote the immigration officer. He walks up to the car and says, are you a Jewish citizen? <laughs> Like, are you a Jewish citizen? <laughs> and then we were in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and we were performing at a base. When we got there, they briefed us about how top secret this base was, but they had the hot air balloon festival going on, and hot air balloons were accidentally floating over the base and landing. And I witnessed this, and the military police were very nice. They just escorted them right off the base. I saw this happen, and I called my uncle in Mexico. I said, there's a new way to get in. <laughs> a 
They can't build a wall big enough for this one. <laughs> oh, that would make him mad, huh? If we had hot air balloons, what do you mean they're floating over the wall? <laughs> We're gonna tax the air. We're gonna tax the air. <laughs> and so I thought I'd just take a couple minutes here to, to share with you something that I like to, to call uh, my vision for America. Okay, so I need your participation. This is a interactive little part, okay? I need you to say this after me. This is important. Courage. Courage. Communication. Communication. Character. Character. Excellent. I call those the four C's of leadership. <laughs> hey, it takes a lot of character to do what I did. <laughs> Run the country, fight terrorists, be anywhere close to Dick Cheney. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Remember Cheney? <laughs> you know, but when you're a leader, and all of you are leaders, you're leaders of businesses, leaders in your home, leaders in your school, You've got to lead by your values and stick by your principles, even when it seems like nobody in the media thinks your ideas are any good. <laughs> I had to put up with that, sir, but it's all right, I got used to it. Now I got thick skin like an elephant, <laughs> which is the symbol of the Republican Party. <laughs> my Democratic brothers and sisters here tonight are, are depicted as a donkey, or as my friends down south would call you, burritos. <laughs> Now, the second C is communication. Now, do not misunderestimate. <laughs> I've studied the studies, and communication is the most important part of talking. <laughs> you know, good communication is only 15% verbal, <laughs> which in my case is a good thing. <laughs> but, but when you're by, uh, bilingual. <laughs> You've got to be careful to use the words you mean to use with specific, uh, carefully, <laughs> or else you can create an international incident, as I learned recently during a trip to Krakistan. <laughs> There's a big difference between saying, I want a cracker and I am a cracker. <laughs> it's huge. Now, the third C. Character, character. And I know you folks all know what I mean by character, although it's kind of sometimes hard to paint the tail on the donkey of what character actually is. You know, because you've got cartoon characters and then you've got people characters. <laughs> but I'm talking about the characteristics, the American characteristics of love, of kindness, generosity. And I've flown Air Force One, Oh, Air Force One. Now that's a man cave. <laughs> <laughs> I've flown Air, Air Force One all over the world. I, well, I've slept in Buckingham Palace. I, I've, I've watched the sun rise over Jerusalem. And I have feasted in the deserts of Abu Dhabi. <laughs> I, I love that word. <laughs> Abu Dhabi. <laughs> Sounds like bibbidi bobbidi <laughs> So to capsize what I'm trying to say, <laughs> I stand strong on character and character in America is strong, stronger than anywhere else in the world. It's true.